Well, if you're familiar with the Shaker Square area, you know Chef Doug Katz from Fire Food and Drink. And today you're going to teach me something from your new spring menu. Yes. Tell me about it. We're making a pan seared tile fish mm -hmm. with an Indian butter sauce. Ooh. Uh, it's really good. I'm ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Great. We're making the sauce first, Doug? Yes. Where do I begin? So first you'll put your butter into a hot pan. So once that's melted, mm -hmm. you're going to add your, your onion. And we want to cook the onion for about two to three minutes. I love the butter and onion. Two steps makes a house smell amazing. Yes. Don't be scared to just you know, sort of shake it around a little okay. bit. Just add your garlic. Stir that oh, garlic okay. around. And again, you'll want to cook it for at least a minute or so. Next, you can add your minced ginger. This is great. I'm cooking for you, Doug. Yes, I love it. <laughs> and now we're going to add a little bit of salt. You can add your Fresno chilies and your celery. Now it's time to add our spices. This is starting to smell pretty amazing. So you're going to start with a pinch of saffron. We are going to add our cumin. Everything Next, right. we're adding our coriander. Now, what's the difference between, say, a garam masala and what you're doing here? We are making our own garam masala. Okay, basically. Wonderful. Next, we're adding our black pepper and a pinch of cayenne. Next, we're adding a teaspoon of green cardamom. That seems to be the secret spice for a lot of people that you don't know is there and you don't know what it's doing, but it, but it is doing something. This is a right. little ground cinnamon. Okay. Pinch of clove, pinch of nutmeg, and a pinch of ground ginger. Two and a half teaspoons of turmeric. This adds a great color. Fenugreek. Now tell me what fenugreek is, because I've never heard of that before today. It actually has a, if you think of celery salt, oh, yeah. it has a celery salt okay. sort of smell to it. You do want to see it kind of turning brown like this and toasting this, all those nice spices that you put in there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to deglaze with our wine. Okay. And now that that's reduced, you're going to add your veg stock and our tomato. Next we can add our cashews. The cashews add, add a great nuttiness. Ultimately they'll be pureed in the sauce. And then we'll add our brown sugar. Ready for the uh, for the fish portion of this, Doug. What do yes. we do here? We're just going to season it lightly and oh, then yeah, we are going to drop the fish right into that pan. And you don't want to move the fish once it's in the pan. So now we're just going to flip our fish and make... So you're letting it sit off the heat to kind of cook through? Yes, and you're letting that skin just have contact with the oil because you want it to sort of fry the skin a little bit and get nice and crispy. Okay. After yes. 25 minutes, it really melds. I'm going to add the cream and lemon juice as well. Let this come to a simmer and then we're going to blend this. Right, a little bit more. Ooh. Yeah, and gently pour that. This gently. smells so good. Do you want to grab some rice from the rice cooker? Sure. We are going to take our sauce that we made, it's do fine. a little drizzle mm -hmm. around. Okay. So I would take one portion. You want the garnish to sit right in the middle. And then I take a little bit of our chili oil, and then I take a little bit of our hari chutney. This looks like a dish you would see at like an Indian wedding reception. It's, it's and so it, beautiful. It's, it's so creamy. Who knew I could make Indian food? How about right? that? 